Thanks, Jonah. And CNN produced a documentary about that flag flying over Ground Zero. Andrew Flagg's rep says that it's uh, gotten tips about where that missing flag may be, but no luck finding it just yet. Now, the nation paused this morning, as it has for the last 12 years, to remember those terror attacks in New York, Washington, and rural Pennsylvania. Jay Gray shows us how the 3,000 victims were remembered and honored. David D. Alger. An honor roll of heroes remembered 12 years later. Gerard A. Barbara. Their names read aloud by family and friends who only pause. At the exact time the planes hit the Trade Center towers. And again at the times the buildings collapsed. This is a burial ground. Let's not make any mistake about that. So it is sacred ground. Where the nearly 3,000 who died in the attacks will soon be honored with a permanent memorial and museum. The very first artifact that our visitors will see are these two tridents, and these are the steel column that rung the bases of each tower. It's scheduled to open early next year, built on and around the original site, filled with images and remnants of the attack. When the towers came down and this, this wall was sort of beaten up, um, it still held. Just like so many who gathered here, at the Pentagon in Washington. Above all, let us have the courage, like the survivors and families here today, to carry on no matter how dark the night or how difficult the day. And in a rural Pennsylvania field, to make sure 12 years later, the country and the world never forget. My father, Paul M. Fiore. Daddy, I miss you so much. Jay Gray, NBC News, Ground Zero. And it's all something we're talking about today. What do you remember about 9-11? Share your story with us. We want to know what your most vivid memory of September 11, 2001 is. Give us a call, 414-967-5304. Post your message on our Facebook page, or you can even send us a video response through iContribute at TMJ4.com. Six minutes.